In part one, chapter eight of Coming of Age in Mississippi, Essie's family can't afford school clothes by the time Essie enters eighth grade. She wears her old tight jeans to school and inadvertently starts a tight jeans fad. To Essie's surprise, she's elected homecoming queen by the boys in her class, and the eighth grade's fundraising efforts get her elected queen of the entire school. But she can't afford a gown. Linda Jean offers her a faded pink gown she hates. Mama promises Daddy will send Essie money to buy a gown, but the homecoming parade date approaches, and he doesn't send anything. Essie resigns herself to wearing Linda Jean's old gown when she gets a surprise visit from Daddy, who has brought a new stylish gown for her. The gift causes tension and jealousy in the rest of the family, but Essie's still thrilled. She has the fanciest outfit at the homecoming parade. So fancy, in fact, that a classmate accuses her of borrowing the gown from the white people she works for. In full makeup, Essie realizes she's no longer a little girl. The entire town comes out to see the parade, including Mama and Linda Jean, who seem shocked Essie, a Negro, looks so beautiful. The crowd sings Dixie and Swanee River, a song also titled Old Folks at Home. Watching the white and black singers, Essie feels fearful. The songs seem meaningful to the white singers and sad to the black singers. Essie thinks older Negroes and whites have some kind of sympathetic relationship young people can't share. Though Essie likes male attention, she doesn't want to be dependent on it. She sees how her mothers become dependent on Raymond and how Raymond's broken her heart. Even if the region's heritage and traditions are damaging, painful, and criminal, people will hold onto them. The older white residents have a romantic, imaginary image of the past. The older black residents have a more painful and realistic image, but they've still experienced a past that connects them in some ways with the older whites. Younger people, without this connection to Southern tradition, are hungry for change, but change won't come easily.